Yes. <laughs> it does. It takes a long time. Four hours, isn't that right? Facebook. <laughs> now, these different ways of getting into Gmail. I noticed somebody had two different ways of getting into Gmail. Yes. <laughs> Why don't we go through all the Gmail accounts and find out exactly how many different <laughs> login screens are there available to those that are Gmail users? And <laughs> Yahoo had a little problem with uh, unusual activity. Yes. <laughs> I use it the same way I've been using it every day. And for some reason, there's some unusual activity. Yes. Now, I think somebody doesn't want to get sued for issuing this fraudulent court order that's been used to arrest me for crimes I haven't, I haven't committed. <laughs> As if the police and sheriff's departments don't believe that there's another world out there. <laughs> now, the clerk will file the original order in the public record. Yes. Mm. Did you know that you filed this in the public record? <laughs> Yesterday, I spent a, a little time with um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, number eight. I got a little upset because I've been emailing you that my rights are being violated. Yes. And you decided to prosecute me for a crime I didn't commit, mm -hmm, for violating a fraudulent court order mm -hmm, that quite possibly was a, a double fraud court order. Yes. If somebody signed it other than the petitioner because the petitioner didn't sign it on the day of the court hearing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I know, we'll just look at this just for a second. Yeah, may seek a, a protection order. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, a family or household member did seek a protection order. Yes, may apply for the protection order. <laughs> but you didn't require the actual wife of myself to sign it. You didn't require her to appear in court. Mm. This uh, statute defines family or household members as if you don't really have to have the household member appear in court on the day of the actual court hearing <laughs> as long as they say that they are the actual household member the the wife of the individual or previous spouse <laughs> use a court can issue it you don't have to see the actual physical person <laughs> now a lot of individuals they don't really believe this but i do know who my wife is i was married to her for 10 years yes and when I, when I went through the number of superior court hearings that you've had, Brent Baston, mm -hmm. was there some reason you didn't want to see my wife? <laughs> you getting a little fight, did you? You found her unattractive all of a sudden. <laughs> One of these uh, lover's tiffs. <laughs> now, she had appeared in court for week after week after week after week. For years and years, you wanted to see her in court. And then all of a sudden, you said no. She doesn't have to appear in court. I don't have to see her. I know who she is. See this family or household a member that may apply for a protection order? Yes. Mm -hmm. When um, when she appeared in court in 2011, yes, uh, she petitioned the court and you did see her, Brent Basin. Right. And you reissued a protection order. She did appear in court. Yes. And then you issued another protection order in 2011. Ken Mays, a former Superior Court judge. Yes. Did you see her then? Yes. Now, this do have to appear in court or don't have to appear in court because you've seen her so many times. <laughs> it seems to me that it should be a requirement that <laughs> whomever it is that fills this out, and it should be the petitioner, yes, that gets the certified copies, mm -hmm. you should make it that you should have to see her. Yeah. Now, I have no idea who appeared in court on July 31st of 2015, <laughs> but you as a court commissioner should know the actual identity of every petitioner. <laughs> I mentioned that it doesn't take a driver's license to get a protection order. <laughs> it doesn't take a driver's license or a marriage certificate to get a dissolution of marriage. <laughs> but I would have thought that there would be some sort of identity issue if the actual person, yes, wasn't the petitioner. Okay. And you didn't have to see her in court as if anybody could fill this fucking thing. <laughs>